Hello and welcome to Michael's Minty Music for today. Today we review Sting's 1996 album Mercury Falling. It's really good, definitely one of his uh, better albums um, and pretty outstanding from him. This is the track listing and these are the tracks that added to my playlist, 8 out of 11, so most of them here. This album's definitely good, almost all the tracks here are high quality and there's a decent amount of variety in terms of sounds. The album flows all right, the beginning section is a little slow, um, but it does manage to pick up pretty well in the back half with the song 25 to Midnight really being the, the key there. The Hounds of Winter is a pretty good opening track, and Lithium Sunset is a really great final track, so you know there's a sense that they kind of know what they're doing in terms of track placement. Although most of the tracks here are slower pop songs, there's enough individual variety to make certain tracks stand out and help carry the album. Songs like I Hung My Head and I'm So Happy I Can't Stop Crying are both slow, but they still sound different and they help kind of drive and keep the album interesting. Tracks on the back half like All Four Seasons, 25 to Midnight, and Lithium Sunset really help make the album, as without them it would probably get decently boring around the halfway point. The genre here is still just pop stuff, but there is some extra influences from some country and alternative sources, along with the more traditional rock influence from Sting. Overall, I would say this is a pretty high quality album. It's got a lot more variety than Sting usually has, and in general, it's more interesting than most of his work. Um, yeah, so it's generally pretty good, but not, um, I mean, he's not blowing things that I really like out of the water, but this is definitely a, a worthwhile album from him. There was one single released before the album, uh, Let Your Soul Be the Pilot. Um, which may have been on the radio at the time, um, but I don't think any of the songs here were particularly popular. He kind of carved out his own space as that existed outside of the traditional pop radio at the time. My favorite song here is definitely 25 to Midnight. It's the most upbeat song here um, and more of a traditional rock pop track. Lithium Sunset was also pretty good as well, but um, 25 to Midnight really makes makes the album in a way that the rest of the tracks don't. I rank this album third out of Sting's 12 albums, only under two others. Um, Mercury Falling is definitely better than most of his work, a clear step above uh, decent albums like The Last Ship and Brand New Day. It's of a similar level of quality as The Soul Cages, but I think Mercury Falling has a little bit more variety and comes together a little bit better. Uh, Ten Summoner's Tales is definitely a step above this one, but I do think that 57th and 9th is pretty close to the same quality. I think I just like the, the style of 57th and 9th better. It's more rock and less slow pop, although it still kind of has that variety that makes these top couple of albums for him. Additionally, this album does take my top spot from 1996, although it is the only album I've heard from 1996, so it does get the spot by default. The album's still really good though, I don't feel too bad about it being my favorite, um, although uh, it's not impossible for me to imagine another really good album coming along and beating out Mercury Fallen. But it would definitely be have to be a good album. Thank you for watching! Next up I will review the Power Station's other album, 1996's Living in Fear. Uh, this is their second and last album, as one of the members unfortunately passed away right around the time of the release, so they didn't keep going after that, obviously. So stay tuned for that, and as always, stay minty.